The last topic I want to discuss in this chapter is accelerating consolidation settlement. Uh, so far, we have talked about preloading a soft, normally consolidated clay layer with some sandy fuse. And this is a pretty common practice in the field to pre-compress a no soft clay layer to make it stronger before uh, you start construction of a foundation or, or a building. And um, we have also talked about how to estimate the time it takes for soil to consolidate. And so let's use this example here to do some quick calculations. Uh, as shown on this graph here, we have 50 feet of soft, normally consolidated clay layer. And the coefficient of consolidation, C sub V, is 25 feet square per year, uh, which is a reasonable, reasonable number for some uh, soft clay like bay mud. And with preloading, you want to achieve uh, typically, I want to achieve uh, average degree consolidation of 90% or above. So for U of 90%, the time factor T sub V is 0.848. And this is uh, taken from table 11.7, uh, Tersaki's solution. And then uh, if we plug in the, to this uh, expression for time T, you can get uh, the following. So T sub V is 848. Uh, HDR is the maximum drainage distance. So for this setup here, you have an impermeable layer at the bottom. So it's a one-way drainage. HDR equals to the height of this clay layer, 50 square, divided by C sub V of 25. Uh, if you work out this number, you'll get T90 equals to 85 years. Clearly, this is not a realistic time for any projects. So we need to find ways to accelerate this consolidation process to significant, significantly reduce this time T. Um, so if you look at this uh, expression for T, uh, there are actually two factors that impact this uh, time. So this time t is proportional to the square of this drainage distance HDR. And also t is inversely proportional to the coefficient of consolidation C sub v. So if you can increase or if you can decrease HDR, so if you decrease HDR, you can effectively reduce time T here. And of course, if you increase coefficient of consolidation, you will also have decreased the T. So the methods I'm going to briefly introduce are uh, aim to reduce the drainage path to provide a shorter path for water to drain therefore accelerating the consolidation process. Well, there are a few commonly used field methods to accelerate uh, consolidation settlement. Uh, the first one is called sand drains. Uh, sand drains are basically holes that are drilled at regular intervals through clay and backfilled with sand. A diagram of uh, the sand drains are shown in this picture here. So these are so these are basically pre-drilled holes uh, through clay layer that are backfilled with uh, sand. Uh, remember, the time it takes for clay to consolidate is related to the drainage pass we call HDR square or drainage distance uh, HDR square. So this uh, by installing these sand drains you're effectively reducing the um, drainage distance, HDR. Therefore, you reduce the time for clay to consolidate. And also, uh, for the radial drainage case, C sub V of horizontal, the radial drainage, is actually approximately four to five times larger than C sub V in the vertical direction. Okay. 
So with this sand drains, you're actually you're not only reducing the drainage distance, you're also increasing the coefficient of consolidation. So that also reduces time t here. So on the bottom right here is a typical plan for sand drains installation where this R W is the radius of sand drains, and this D E is the diameter of the effective zone size. So the time it takes for clay to consolidate with sand drains is a function of the drainage path, the coefficient of consolidation, and also uh, this radius of sand drain R W and effective zone size D E. Uh, the second commonly used field method, actually more commonly used these days, uh, is called prefabricated vertical drains or PVDs, which are also referred to as weak or strip drains. Um, these drains are manufactured from uh, synthetic polymers such as polypropylene and high density polyethylenes. And they are normally manufactured with a channeled synthetic core, as shown on this. Uh, uh, diagram here that are enclosed by a geotextile uh, uh, filter. So these um, PVDs, once installed in the field, so this is similar to sand drain methods. So once these PVDs are installed in the field, they provide radio drainage paths for clay, for the excess pore pressure in the clay to dissipate. So effectively reduce the time it takes for clay to consolidate. And this slide shows um, some pictures of PVDs installation in progress. So compared to the sand drain method, the, one of the main advantages of PVDs is the installation process. So it, because it doesn't require drilling, so it, it's much faster to install PVDs compared to uh, sand drains. And this picture basically shows uh, many PVDs uh, complete, uh, many completed PVDs uh, in the field.